All right, hello everyone. It's Team Rocket Draws here with another Pokemon drawing tutorial. And uh, for this video, guys, we're gonna be drawing uh, Dragon Eyes. So as you guys can see on screen, this is how he ends up looking like. So if you guys want to learn how to draw him, then let's get started. I'm also gonna put up a reference right now on screen that way it's easier for you guys to draw. And at the same time, you guys will get all your details. All right, guys. So we're gonna start off by doing some simple shapes and basically do a sketch. And then from there on, you guys are gonna do your fi final drawing. Uh, so remember not to press um, hard on your paper. And this Dragon Knight, I searched up on Google Dragon Knight images and I found this one. And it's a uh, fan art. It was, I forgot the name of the guy who, or the person who made it. Uh, he, it's uh, in Divian art, I think, um, where I saw it. So, yeah, so I just wanted to give him the, the credit for this one, which is pretty cool, to be honest. All right, so we're going to start off by doing the nose. So, we're going to do this line right here, just a basic line. Remember, don't press too hard. And then we're gonna do this like, I guess, upside down Diglett shape in a way. All right, so now that we have this shape right here, we're gonna do uh, his stomach. So his stomach goes pretty far further away. It's a little bit longer than this, so we could just measure the, the length of it. And it curves down. All right, so now for the bottom, gotta say it's around here. And it just curves down. Doesn't go uh, that low. Gotta say around here. And it just starts curving back again and we could just connect these so this one curves down like this all right guys so now that we have this we could just connect the the rest of his body so we're gonna start by doing the top of his head so we're gonna start off around here it's gonna go up and we're gonna connect it to around here uh, basically on the same uh, level as the nose a little bit lower i gotta say so around here we're just gonna continue this shape right here it just starts curving up and it just connects to the other one on the other side there we go all right so now that we have this guys we basically got his body so now let's try to do his um one of his legs so it's gonna start here and it's gonna the other one is gonna be probably uh, it lines up with this one right here so around here so this is where we start and where we end so now we could just basically do like this oval shape there we go and if you guys notice I go over the the area a few times uh, just so I could get the right shape All right guys, so now that we have that we're gonna do the other one on the other side So basically try to make it on the same level and This one is not actually gonna be visible because it's uh, One of his arms is going over it, but we want to do it just so we can get it proportional and it just looks good overall So I gotta say around here like this there we go. All right, guys. Now that we have that, we could do his tail, which basically starts uh, right here and where the leg meets the body. And then it's going to go just go down and it's going to end up around here. So we so it's around here and it's going to start here. So we can just curve it. Like that. There we go. All right, so now for his arm. So this is the one I was mentioning that covers most of this part, but we just wanted to get this. That way we know uh, everything's gonna line up uh, well. All right, so there's a small gap in between the arm and the actual body. So I'm gonna start around here. And it starts getting a little bit wider as it goes down. And then once it reaches a little bit lower than the tail, it, it starts uh, curving. Now on the other side, so I gotta say about mm, maybe in the middle of this shape. So if we split in half, just to make it a little bit easier on you guys, I gotta say it's around the middle. There we go. All right, so now that we have that, we could erase the inside. So remember not to press that hard, that way all these lines uh, could erase easily. 
Here we go. So that's one of his arms, guys. All right. So just to make sure that it's going to line up, I want to just make it connected to around here. That way it looks a little bit better. Uh, we could add and or take away anything as we go. Uh, just because the reference like that doesn't mean it has to be like that. Um, if you guys could change anything, then go ahead. Uh, I'm probably going to end up moving some lines and just making it uh, work for my drawing. So um, you guys might want to do the same thing. All right, guys. So now that we have this arm, let's start by doing the other one. So the other one starts. So there's a gap in between this one and the arm. I got to say about this much of a gap. So now that I know where uh, the arm should be, we could just basically connect it to the body like this. All right. So the the thickness of his arm is pretty big, I got to say, because this one's um higher and a little bit closer to us so it's gonna be a little bit thicker than this one so so if this one is this thick all right so let's just look for the thickness of this one here so i gotta say it's like around here let's just make it a little bit more thicker gotta say around here not by much and let's just do the bottom of his arm so his arm doesn't go that far away and it just starts curving so now we know where to connect it to so let's curve it and just make it the same thickness throughout until it reaches his the body and just work with the shape of the arm a little bit if it doesn't look right then you guys could always make any changes so right here i'm just trying to uh, fix the shape of his arm just so it could go smooth. All right, I like where this plays, so I'm gonna leave it right here. All right, so now that we have this arm, uh, we could do one of his feet. So his feet surround here, and it basically touches the side over here because obviously it's the bottom of his foot. So we're gonna go around here like this and just make a make this shape right here. And if you guys notice, it's not the same as the reference, uh, just because I'm trying to make it work with my drawing. Um, you guys could do it just like the reference, uh, but I think this one will look better this way on my drawing, so I'm gonna keep it that way. All right, guys, so now that we have that, we can start by doing uh, his wings. All right, so his wings go about, gotta say this high away from his uh, actual body. So let's just do a reference line going on top of it, that way, uh, it could help us place the wings this one's a little bit lighter uh, you guys don't have to do it it's just to help uh to, just to make it a little bit easier on us all right so now above this arm we're gonna go straight up and we're gonna start one of his wings so it, it's basically a line right here and it just curves a little bit all right we got the top now on this side this one's a little bit closer to the actual uh, arm but it's gonna go about the same height around there. We'll use this line as a reference. That's why we put it there. All right, so now for the other side of his wing. So this line is gonna be a little bit longer than this one. And just curve it a little bit. I'm happy with this length. All right, so now for this one. Just try to make it the same length as this one or a little bit bigger. All right, so now I'm looking at him and I'm happy with it. This one's a little bit bigger than this one, not by much, but it is. All right, so now that we have the shape of the wings, we could just do the, the other side of the wing. So I'm gonna make it about this thickness. So I'm just gonna keep it. And if you guys notice on the reference, you guys can see the other side of the wing, but just be, um, because in my case, this arm is a little bit higher than it is on the reference. Uh, the wing's gonna go behind it. So it doesn't really matter, guys. Like this. All right, so when it, once it reaches this corner, it's gonna get a lot thinner. So I'm gonna start it on this side and it's just gonna get, uh, it's, it's still gonna start off thin and just gonna get wider and connect to this one. There we go. The same thing on this side. So just try to make them the same thickness, maybe a little bit uh, thinner on this side than the other one, just because it's a little bit further away. There we go. 
it's just a little bit thinner so now that we have that we can just start over here on this side of the same So for example here, it didn't work out on mine well. So I'm just gonna raise the top just because I, I prefer the bottom one. And I'm just gonna fix it. All right, it's a little bit rough guys, but hopefully you guys uh, see what it is. All right, so now that we have that, we could erase this reference line. We don't need it no more. And this one. And this one right here. All right, so now we're gonna do some of the features. So for example, uh, we're gonna split his face in the middle. So since he's looking at an angle, I gotta say around here. So this far away from this. And we're just going to continue this line like this and just start curving it a little bit like this. So this is just going to help us place his eye and his nose. So then his eye is going to be, we're going to do this line around maybe here like that. So he's going to be like mad. Now that we have that, we're going to do an upside down uh, half of a circle. So from here to here. There we go. Now we're going to place his horn. So his horn is going to be around here. And we're just going to do this like half a circle almost. And then we're going to do a triangle shape on the top and it doesn't matter as long as it's the right shape uh, it doesn't matter if it where it is on um, if it covers this wing or not on the reference it's a little bit more to the right but I rather have it here so I'm gonna leave it there all right so now that we have that we can start by doing the wing so the wing the length of this line that we're gonna do right here is the length of this one uh, roughly so it is around here now the same thing on this side and this one is gonna be a little bit smaller there we go and if you guys notice I did it at an angle all right so now that we have that we're gonna curve it and connect it to uh, either side So basically it connect around here um, on the other side of his body. Now for this side. And we can't see the other side so we're going to leave it like that. Alright guys so now that we have that we're going to do the lines in his stomach. So we're going to start off by doing the bottom one first uh, which is going to be the thickest one. So just try to follow this shape at the bottom. There we go. Now for another one, we're gonna start a little bit higher. There we go. So it's basically following this line now. So now for the top one, it's a little bit higher, but a little bit lower than the, the gap, a little bit shorter. So now this one, the gap here is gonna be a lot bigger. It's gonna be around here. There we go. Now another one, the other one's gonna be around here and it's gonna be the same thing. There's gonna be a wider gap there. All right, so now for the last one. Like this. All right, so now that we have that, guys, we're going to start by doing his eye. So 
smaller one in the inside all right so now we're gonna do this side of the face just gonna do a line and connect it like this this is gonna be his brow here we go so now we're gonna do his face a little bit work on it so his eye is under this line right here it should be uh, basically what this is is this one right here but since we're seeing it on the side it's uh, sticking out a little bit all right so now that we have that guys we can start by doing the, his antennas so i noticed that they start really close to this so i gotta sit around here and then we're gonna curve it and just go up so on the reference it goes a lot higher than the wings but i'm leaving uh, around the same level as the wings so this is one and now the other one's basically on the same the same distance but on the other side so i gotta say around here on the reference it starts on the other side but i'm gonna start mine around here so just curve it and this one's gonna be a little bit shorter than this one on this side so i might want to make this one a little bit longer just because this one's a little bit further away than than us that way that, that's why this one's gonna be a little bit shorter all right so now that we have that we're just basically gonna do a worm shape and just curve the top and just continue now for the other one so this one's gonna be a little bit thinner just because once again it's further away there we go all right guys so now you guys can basically see the shape of um Dragonite now we're just gonna add his nostrils so his nostrils are gonna be a little bit higher up his face so and then th we're gonna use this as the middle so this is gonna be a gap between the nostril and this line so I'm gonna say around here and if you guys notice I said it's at an angle so now the same thing on this side just try to make it at the same level almost there we go on the reference, this one's a little bit at a different angle, but I prefer it this way. Alright, so now that we have that, guys, we're going to do his mouth. Alright, so we're going to use the same line as his mouth, but once it gets uh, right there to the top, we're going to curve a little bit. And then we're going to do this line right here, this smile. Now that we have that, we're going to do his lip almost. So it's going to be a little bit higher. It's going to follow the same line. And then once it, it reaches around here, it's gonna be a straight line going down. And then it's just gonna connect to the to the nose right here. All right, so now that we have that, uh, something that I'm noticing is that our nose right here is too round. It should be a little bit more, more square. So I'm gonna fix that by fixing this line right here. And I'm just gonna make it take out a little bit more instead of going in a, like a shorter it's gonna be a little bit wider and then go like around here and it's just gonna be almost flat and then it's just gonna go back up all right guys so now that we have that we basically got our dragon eye now we just need to add our small smaller details so we're gonna add his claws so the way I like to do claws, so he has three in each one. So in his foot, on on the reference, they're facing that way. But since I changed my feet, um, I'm I'm gonna do it like kind of going down. So I'm gonna do one in the middle. And I'm gonna say around that length. If you guys notice it, it's it goes a little bit into the leg and it's longer on the outside. So now that I have that, I'm gonna do another one around here. The same thing on this one, and then another one over here. There we go. So I like doing it this way just so I could get the shape right. So then the top, I'm just gonna curve it. And then I'm gonna do the middle one first just so I can know that the other ones are gonna uh, look good. So now that I have this curved line at the bottom, I'm just gonna connect it. Like that. Just, so now that I did that one, um, I don't like the shape of these. They're not gonna fit well. So I'm gonna change them. Another way that you guys could do it is just basically doing the, the top first and then just doing the other claw. 
and then just connecting them. So either way you guys can do it, same thing on this side. There we go, that's one of them. Uh, I don't really like the shape of them right now, so I might change them uh, once I do my final drawing, but for now I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, so now for one of his claws. So since he's swiping, we're gonna do it around here. And then just do this one. I might, I think I did it too long. Just try to make it proportional to to his hand, as long as it doesn't look weird. So now on this side, and this one's a little bit on the side, so this one's gonna have a little bit of a different shape. Now on this side, same thing. It's gonna have a different shape like this. Because he's swiping. All right, so now for the other arm. So this one, I'm, I'm looking at the reference and looking at the the shape of the of the claw. Now the other ones around here. There we go. And now the other one's a little further behind, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. There we go. So the only ones that I don't like are the ones that I did myself. So I'm just going to erase those real quick. And I'm going to see if I can do them the same shape as the reference. I think I just did them too big. So I might just keep them the same. This is the same shape that I did before, but just... That. I'm happy with that. It's just a little bit better. All right, guys. So now that we have this, we could start adding some of his features on the face right here. So this is the middle. So he's gonna have like a frown around here, a frown or whatever it's called. All right. So now that we have that, we can start erasing uh, some of the uh, reference lines that we used. You guys could always add these lines later on just to make it a little bit easier. Try to keep the the frown. So he's mad. All right, just erase any extra lines. Uh, for example, this one doesn't have it. We can start erasing it, and we pretty much got our dragon eye guy. So another thing that he does have is fire right here on his uh, hand, and it goes behind him. Uh, you guys could add it just like the reference but i'm gonna leave it like this just to make it a little bit more simple um and now what i like to do is just go over it and make any changes that i don't see um uh, anything that i don't like the way uh, it's shaped so for example here the bottom just trying to make it all work with um each other so i'm gonna fix that line a little bit um for example this one he has like a little line right here for uh, his armpit so basically, I'm just making any changes to the to the sketch that we have, uh, just to make it a little bit more better. So I recommend you guys do the same. One of those things that I'm not liking um, is this antenna. It's a little bit too big, but at the same time, I think it, it works well with this. So I'm, I'm probably gonna leave it. All right, guys. Another thing that we could add is. Um, his tail, but at the same time, is going to be covering it. Uh, maybe I just want to add it around here. So basically, it's going to go like this. Um, and it's just going to give it a little bit more. Um, what's that word? I don't know what that word is. Basically, it's just going to make it make him a little bit more 3D because we can see uh, the tails that it's a little bit smaller. Um, in the background, you know, it's further away. So I think that's gonna help overall. So we could add that, you guys don't have to. It's just something I think that uh, will help. And we're pretty much done, guys. So now from here on, what you guys could do is just like I said before, go over your drawing and just make any changes to it. Um, you guys could either just erase some of the lines and make it a little bit better. Um, other people, what they do is once they have 
their final drawing um they use the pen or a sharpie or whatever fine tip sharpie and then they basically just do the outline of their drawing and then just erase the the pencil markings uh but the way i like to do it is where i just basically erase the whole drawing and even though i'm erasing it i can still see the lines and then just go over it and it's gonna end up a lot cleaner and i can make any changes um just to make it a little bit, bit more better so uh from here on guys uh you guys could do whatever you guys want so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial i'll show you guys right now the how it ends up looking um colored and the outline so i'll see you guys then all right guys so here we go i have my final outline um i didn't end up erasing it and then starting all over what i did i, I just outlined it with my micron uh, pen i recommend that you guys buy these if you guys use markers or whatever they come in different sizes and for example this is zero one and it's really a fine uh, tip so and I bought these online on eBay for like five dollars from China they came from China um, and it comes with like six or seven uh, different of these pens and they're really good they're good quality and everything so I recommend that you guys buy them um, so like I said before I ended up just outlining my sketch um, and just made sure that I didn't do uh, overlap some lines for example here on the on his antenna you know i didn't do a line uh, from the wing since it's behind it um the only change that i did make with my uh to my sketch was the eye i made it a little bit smaller before the actual eye the inside was a little bit more bigger um once i looked at the reference and the eye of dragon i was a little bit smaller so i decided just to make it like that uh but overall or I think that's it that's all the changes that I did make um, and I'm happy with this so here's the final outline guys if you guys want to base your drawing off this one uh, then go ahead oh another thing that I did change before I forget uh, was the shape right here of the inside of the wing I made it um, the inside line a little bit more curved than before um, before it was more straight now I curved a little bit more and I connected it to the wing on this side a little bit higher uh, than I had it before before I had it like to the tip uh, this time I did a little bit higher and basically that's it guys so from here on I'm just gonna go and color my drawing and I'll see you guys once I'm finished